women are born with inherent value because they're the progenitors of the human race. They don't have to fight or struggle in order to be successful. They want to teach everyone that everyone has value and everyone is important and everyone can get what they want. But that isn't true. It's only true for women. So men shouldn't be taught that. But they are, and so they get wrecked. Hello and welcome to Helios Blog. My name is Helios. Today, are men stronger than women? Wow, what a popular topic. Classic question. Are men stronger than women? Feminists everywhere will have you believe that men and women are equal in every way. Well, watch this video to the end and let's see if you can find out some actual truth instead of the bullshit spewed by the gynocentric, cultural Marxist, matriarchal social order we live in. Let's get into it. Biological differences between men and women. There are obvious, stark differences biologically between men and women. Men have a body that's made to endure punishment that the female body simply cannot. As they say, shoulders are made to carry burdens and not hips. Male bodies are specialized for running and throwing, things that helped hunters in the past to attain meat. This was not some far-fetched, this is not some far-fetched flung theory. This is real biological reality. Obviously, men produce much more testosterone and have more muscle and aggression than women as well. And this is for the same reason. It's because men in the past had to fight each other in war, they had to overpower animals, they had to throw javelins and use bow and arrows and, you know, survive in the wilderness on their own or in small bands. And that is only doable with risk-taking tenacity and strength. So there you go. These things served our ancestors well on their quest to attain food. And of course, to ward off rivals. There are also psychological differences between men and women. Wow, what a surprise. Men and women are built differently psychologically. Men tend to be less emotional and more rational. Men are problem-solving machines, seeing everything as a problem to be solved or objects to be fixed. Obviously, this made men better at building things and planning for the future, something that men needed to do when we were hunter-gatherers. Men needed to be able to control the environment that they lived in, and of course, because men were stronger uh, and better at planning, this allowed them to build the shelters and the, the protective uh, palisades and things like that that helped them to be protected from animals. Okay, now, by contrast, women are more emotional, reading micro-expressions and subtleties with ease. Because women tended to be gatherers, they worked together and, of course, had lots of opportunity to interact with other people, with other women, all the time. And of course, because they were constantly working together and sharing the load, they became more collectivist, right? And this, this can explain a lot of why when women are in power, they make it kind of culturally Marxist, equalist, everyone deserves the same amount of money for, the, for different levels of effort, etc. Because it, it goes all the way back to our gatherer past, whereas, of course, men are more... Um, they reward higher effort with higher pay because, of course, if you're a hunter and you were the one that took down the big animal, you deserve to be paid more of that big animal because you were the one that made it happen. That sort of idea. Now, of course, women being better with people help them to navigate complex family and tribal structures. And, of course, this is a harsh reality, but it's true. Women were often uh, stolen or traded because, you know, one roving band, tribal band, would kill another, but save the women so that they could then take them to reproduce, right? So th this also explains why women have the light switch effect. You know, once they stop being attracted to you, bam, they're on to the next person and why they're able to move on so quickly after relationships. It reflects our biological history. Now, why men need to be strong? Men need to be strong now for the same reason they needed to in the past. 
If men are not strong, they're outcompeted by men that are willing to put in the effort to be. If you as a man in the past weren't a good hunter, you were outcompeted by a man that was. If you weren't a good warrior, then if, if people came from a different band, they would just kill you. In the past, being weak as a man meant death. Nowadays, it simply means slow torture for the loser, divorce, debt, and homelessness. Men are not born with any inherent value and need to struggle and fight in order to be successful. If a man is not strong in today's world, his likely outcomes are divorce and slow torture, as well as disrespect from everyone around. I mean, this, this also happened before in, the, in, the, in our revolutionary past. You know, they'd be made fun of and treated as weak, but also they would probably die in the past. Nowadays, they don't die. They just get treated like crap and then di divorced, tortured, basically. But the outcomes are the same. It's just a slow death instead of a fast one. Okay, why women don't need to be strong? In the modern world, women don't need to be strong. Women have safety nets built into every avenue they walk in life. Many women walk through life with no plan and often have a man swoop in and save them since they've been indoctrinated from a young age to accept almost anyone. A loser man who has no idea about female nature or the real way the world works will, by design, by brainwashing, automatically try to save a woman who's made bad decisions. And this is because of the uh, indoctrination of the matriarchy that has taught men incorrectly to save women who've made bad decisions because this guarantees the safety of all women. And of course, uh, women are safety driven. So it makes sense that they would teach men to do this for their own safety. But of course, it ruins the lives of most men. So there it is. Another thing is that women are born with inherent value because they're the progenitors of the human race. They don't have to fight or struggle in order to be successful. But because, again, as I said, women are very like equalist, collectivist, they want to teach everyone that everyone has value and everyone is important and everyone can get what they want. But that isn't true. It's only true for women. So men shouldn't be taught that. But they are, and so they get wrecked. Okay. Now, the way that women win, like what they should be doing, if they want to not become cat ladies in the future, what they should do is through prudence and intelligent investment of their most valuable resource, which is their youth, beauty, and fertility, they should seek to gain a winner, to, to pair themselves with a winner. But, but nowadays, women are taught wrong as well, and so they don't end up doing that. Uh, a lot of them, they just waste their lives and end up as cat ladies, right? So women do not need to be strong. But in order to be successful, they need to be wise. So again, it's just, it's different. Men and women are different and need to do different things in order to be successful. Men need to know the truth and then they need to be strong to be successful. Women need to know the truth and they need to be wise. But nowadays, men are taught to be like defective women and women are taught to be men. It's backwards. And so both end up miserable. Okay, here's our conclusion. It's clear that there are many reasons why men are stronger than women, and this is, these are largely rooted in our tribal past. The modern world still requires the strength of men, but it, it doesn't need that of women, and so women being taught to be strong and independent is just a, a farce. Women need prudence rather than strength in order to be successful. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please remember to do all of the following. Like the video for the algorithm. Comment on the video. I respond to all comments and I'll give you a heart. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can see my content on your feed. Check out all of my content on other platforms. It spreads the reach of the channel. YouTube, bit.ly slash Helios YouTube. Rumble, bit.ly slash Helios Rumble. My blog is realheliosblog.com. My podcast, bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. My Patreon, patreon.com slash The Helios Blog. You can also support the show at bit.ly slash Helios Donations and buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Thank you so much for all of your support.